oil is absolutely pissing out of the back of this somewhere didn't sell when I ran it when I didn't have all this back back on it didn't seem to be leaking at all but it must be leaking when it's on the high speeds I reckon so anyway I'm gonna have to whip all this off and have another look <laughs> And I was hoping as it was clean it would give me a clearer indication of where it was coming from but uh, there's oil everywhere so I think I'll I'll use the uh, talcum powder trick which was recommended by can't think at the moment I'll clean it off, chuck some talcum powder on there, run it at full blow and see if I can actually see where the oil's coming out. running it for about 20 minutes and there's no sign maybe ever such a slight weak from up the top there but I'm not sure whether that's just where I didn't get the I mean it did occur to me that I might not have it might have run out of oil a bit so I took the lid off I redid the talcum powder and it has plenty of oil in it still that's the fuel filler cap thing there. Filler cap oil level indicator. It looks like it might bloody hard to tell whether it's shadow or not, but, but nothing like the amount of oil that was pissing out of it. So maybe it's only leaking on one certain speed or something. So I'll change the speeds over and see how I get on with that. Well, this has been going for about an hour now and you can see it's leaking down into this corner but that is coming from the top not a lot seems to be happening over this side and it was pulling here but I don't know whether the camera is going to pick this up I do think these, are, these grommets must be a little bit knackered behind here because Talcum powder seems to be disappearing away from the selectors. I think I'm going to have to try and sort something out with the grommets and make some sort of gasket for the top. 
So I'm going to try and sort something out with a couple of little grommets on these. I'm just very worried about losing these um, spring clips. It's definitely, definitely coming out of the corner there, up into the corner up there. And it looks like it's seeping all the way along, so the majority of it, I think, is coming off of the lid. So maybe as it warms up a bit, it distorts a little bit. Alright, I'll see what I can do say about the grommets. I'll have to order some gasket paper and make a gasket for it. The only thing I know for sure is that it's definitely seeping out of the top of that. I'm still not sure whether it's coming out of these selector holes, but um, I've got some gasket paper. I'm just going to cut that. and powder it up again. All right, I've got something I want to do on here so I'll run it for an hour or so and see what happens. So after putting the gasket in I ran the lathe for a while. There's still a tiny tiny bit of seepage even with a gasket around the back here as well I mean it's, it's minimal there's hardly anything but while I'm at it I'd like to try and get a shot of it all there was a tiny little bit of seepage that only really showed up on the talcum powder around these um, I've managed to get these little circlips off but I've managed to break one doing it. It just snapped as I was doing it. But I've got some others, so that's not a problem. But what I am going to do is take this top off now. <clears throat> and I'm going to try and flatten. I'm going to get a bit of glass with a bit of uh, emery paper stuck to it. And just try and flatten off the top and flatten off the lid put that down and while I've got the top off I'll investigate because there should be some grommets on here now I'm guessing that they're actually inside that they're, they're in other recesses inside the uh, bars that come through for the levers so I'm going to take the top off see if I can flat that a bit and investigate those So I've just pulled these bars back a bit <clears throat> and the grommet on this side is completely perished. Don't know if you can see that or whether the camera is going to focus on it very good. It's just there. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it there. I mean the grommet's gone almost. That's what they look like on the front. So uh, I've got some little grommets, so I'm going to pull them out and replace them and just try and rub this down a little bit.
Right, we've we'll been at this for a fair bit now. Bloody got an hole in my paper there. But there's a shiny bit completely all around the edges now. I was never worried about the front, it never leaked out the front, but the sides and this back it did. But that looks not too bad now. Right, I'll get this bit of paper out, I'll hoover that off, get the paper out and do the uh, top, but I'll do that on the bench. Finally, I think I've got it. It still looks like there's a little bit of seepage coming right out of this top corner. Don't know if you can see that shiny on my finger. But it's more of a seep through the gasket than anything, certainly not a leak anymore. And everything else is bone dry. I really don't know what else to do other than putting some sort of sealant in it but uh, it's not leaking as it was so I'm going to leave that like that and see how that gets on so now I can get it back together at last and start building the back for it well that's it for this one thanks for watching subscribing commenting and all that and I'll see you in the next one Bye for now.